bridges next to the Amazium. And right now I don't have pedal assist on at all. You don't need it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put a level one pedal assist. This bike that I have is the Aventon Pace 350. It has four, let's see, is it four levels or? Yep. Oh, it's four or five, no, it's five levels of throttle assist pedal assist and then you can also put on the, the throttle and use it alone. Right now I pretty much am just keeping it at one pedal assist. That's plenty. It also has seven different gears. Right now I'm just coasting. trail at Crystal Ridges. So happy it's open again. We have the time loop going on here at night. Ooh, new bridge. Check it out. Whoa. Okay, so I backed, turned around out of that trail because it was a lot of gravel and this bike, you can go mostly concrete, you can go off onto gravel and mud a little bit and get back on. It's got, I think, like two and a half inch wheels, but since I'm not an expert, I do not want to slip on that gravel and I was kind of feeling slippery and kind of wobbly there, so I turned back around. Oh, back on the paved trail. You can see one of Crystal Bridge's awesome pieces of art coming up. So as you can see, these e-bikes are just wonderful. They're great for transportation. They're great for having fun. You don't have to just use the e-bike feature. Like I said, I don't use it that much. The pedal assist, mostly riding it as a bike, but then my legs get tired or if it's going up a hill. And one of the things that I like is, I have to know, I haven't really used a bike that has, um, years. I always had a cruiser bike. I'm 66 years old. I've recently lost a lot of weight. So when I was overweight, I really just used a cruiser bike and I don't like using the gears. So what I'm doing right now until I get used to that is I'm leaving it in like third gear and then I'm just using the pedal assist when it's time to go up a hill or you know a little mountain like we have here in the Ozarks. And so instead of having to change gears, I'm using that to go up the hill. And so then I don't have to sit there and worry about switching, switching, switching until I get used to all that. So that's working perfectly for me. They have some that are single gear, but um, for my price range, this was the best. So right now I'm leaving it in third, just doing as a regular bike, using the pedal assist when I need it, and to go up a hill.